My name is Robert Taylor. When I was six years old, I was placed in foster care with my brother and sister. I was in and out, you know, foster homes. I was battling a lot of depression, anxiety. I was like, okay, you know, this is a new star, you know, new family, new life. Eight years after being adopted, we would return to DCS custody. I went to a group home for six months till I aged out, which I turned 18. I didn't really have anywhere to go. Monroe Harding, a nonprofit organization here in Nashville, reached out to my DCS caseworker and they had an open bed for me. And then I got an, a letter in the mail from UT. I was showing one of the staff, and he was like, man, you should go to this. So me and him sat down on a Friday night. We got on the computer. We planned everything out. I saved up enough money to get a Greyhound. It was my first time traveling anywhere by myself. And as the day went on, I was just like, this is where I want to go to school. My mentor helped me fill out applications, and we applied. When Robert came to us, we kind of recognized pretty quickly that he was a special guy. He knew that community college was, was good, but he had a strong desire to go to UT. Back in March of this year, I got my letter back about the bridge program. The bridge program was for students to take local community college classes at Pellissippi, but to get the college experience living on UT's campus, um, participating in freshman events, football games. That's right up my alley. It was amazing to get the letter, and I took it as like the best invitation I've ever received. You know, and I was like, I'm going. 